That does sound rather stressful. Tell me, Takakun, what is it that you study? I am intrigued by this school notion. Well, my situation is a bit different from most. While I go to school like everyone else, I actually aim to become an athlete. To explain it in a way that you'd understand, an athlete is someone who practices a certain sport, and those who are among the best end up representing their country. I have an upcoming tournament that will decide whether or not I'll be able to represent my country in judo. I think I understand. Your focus is on your strength, while still gathering knowledge to allow you yourself a multitude of options. An interesting method. I should thank you. I guess you could say it's like that, but why thank me? I believe that your sudden appearance in our world has had a lot to do with Meiko's newfound joy. I can hear her singing, something I have not heard in weeks. It warms my heart to see her overjoyed, and I believe it's because of you. Thank you, Takakun. I doubt that's the only reason, but you're welcome. I smiled bashfully at Machiko before continuing. Then again, I should also thank you for busting my rear out of jail. I don't want to think about what w I would have been doing if I was still in the care of Sunir Sundir and tyrants. Ha <laughs> ha, you're most welcome, but please do not be so hard on Miyo-chan. There are many things here beyond her control. But perhaps it's out of our hands now. I still wish to thank you, Takakun. I have been wondering how I might repay you for bringing such joy to Meiko-chan. Repay me? For a moment, my thoughts drifted towards a certain idea, but my cheeks quickly turned scarlet red at the thought. I couldn't ask something like that of her. Uh, I'm not sure I have anything in mind. I think your smile is enough. You are a true gentleman, Takokun. It's a shame, though. I was thinking of such naughty things, too. The fox spirit giggled to herself as she turned towards the garden, watching Meiko struggle to descend from one of the trees with an armful of apples. Maiko chan there are only three of us. Your belly does not count for a fourth person. Speaking of a fourth person, it sounded like you two used to talk a lot with the spirit at the shrine. Why do you get so nervous whenever Suyuri's involved? Yeah, th that's not important. <laughs> uh, is that giant bird carrying the seed of, of the world tree? Oh, maybe it is. I should go and... Ah, uh, Suyuri don't know. Thank you for visiting us today. Machiko-san is right over there. Ah, uh, sorry, no, I'm sorry. I've just been terribly busy. Please forgive me, Suri-sama. Whoa, to think that you'd get that flustered? Is she that amazing of a person? You, you don't understand it. It is complicated. There are certain things that I, as a fox spirit, possess. A subtle way of taking, talking, or acting that influence how people perceive me. They are... Mm, I suppose they would be considered social skills, but for the spirits. Suyuri is capable of completely negating these, and it leaves me feeling rather nervous and helpless. I see. So basically she's immune to your flirting and... Connecting the dots in my mind, I planted the palm of my hand against my forehead. Now I get it. You're afraid of approaching her because Suyuri is a bigger flirt than you. But if she's flirting with you... Oh, I see. You swing that way. For some reason, I suddenly felt rather disappointed. That's not true. Well, maybe. I mean, she has an overpowering presence and does not allow me to properly, um, do my thing. I'm not sure what you mean by swinging, however. It, uh, it means that you, you know, like girls. Oh, really? Well, how about we forget about Siri for now and I show you exactly which way I do swing, Takakun. Th that won't be necessary. But she must be quite a challenge to deal with, considering... I briefly lowered my voice to a whisper. You're already a handful to deal with once you start your teasing. Ha <laughs> ha! You are perhaps less the gentleman than I thought you to be, Takakun. What am I, then? A lovable rogue, perhaps. Or maybe you see yourself as more of a hero type? Of course I'm a hero! A perverted one, but a hero nonetheless. Onisama! Takani! Welcome back, Meiko-chan. How did the hunt for the golden apple go? Hee <laughs> hee, no golden ones, but I got a load of good ones. Even one that's shaped like a heart. You can have that one, Takani. An apple shaped like a heart? Interesting. Does this mean that you're confessing your love to me by giving me this? <laughs> Maybe I am. <laughs> 